Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create bins using Microsoft Excel and the Data Analysis Toolkit. Uh, if you're interested on how to do it without that Data Analysis Toolkit, I have a separate video on that. Um, also be warned that with this method you can only have the version where the upper bound is included and the lower bound is excluded. If you want it the other way around, that the lower bound is included and the upper bound is excluded, uh, you either have to slightly adjust your upper bounds or um, you use the manual one that's in the other video. Um, I have some data in column A and I've selected five number, uh, five bins. And now on how to decide on the number of bins, that's also a separate video. Um, this video is more about how you can actually then create them. I need the minimum value, so luckily Excel has a min function of all my data, so the min of column A, and the maximum, which is simply the max of column A. Now to adjust my uh, upper bound is included, so I'll adjust it a little bit with it by uh, using an adjustment of 1, and then I can calculate how wide I want my bins to be. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah. And I can actually calculate that simply by taking the difference of the maximum and the minimum, uh, add my small adjustment, and divide it by my number of bins. So then I know that the width of each bin should be 14.4. I then simply number my uh, bins. Uh, this looks scarier than it is. It just checks if, uh, if I add one to the previous cell that uh, it doesn't go over my number of bins. That way I can copy paste this row further down in the future if I want more bits. The lower uh, bound of the first one is simply the minimum minus the adjustment. Uh, and the upper bound is then simply adding uh, the width to the uh, lower bound. And then for the next category, um, if there is one, it simply uh, takes the upper bound of the previous one. And we can keep doing that and as you can see the maximum is then exactly the last one is the upper bound of the last category is the maximum uh, value because that's included. Now we can uh, use the data analysis um, yeah, tool. Um, it uses the upper bounds for the bin. So what you can do is uh, in the normally you're in the home ribbon, so you go to the data ribbon, and there should be data analysis. If it's not there, it probably means you haven't installed the data analysis toolkit. So first install it, and then you can actually uh, run it. It comes with Excel, so shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, look for histogram, uh, click on OK, and it will ask you to fill out a few values. I just tested this myself, so I'll clear everything out first. Um, the input range, I wanted to select the entire column A, but because there is some text in there, it won't allow me to do that. So it really must be numbers only. So I'm going to select this one and then shift control down to my last value. So the input range is all the data. The bin ranges are, of course, my upper bounds. You can also leave it blank. Um, I think Excel then uses the square root choice or Sturgis. Uh, to decide on a number of bins for you. Uh, but I have calculated all those upper bounds, so let's fill those out. And I want the output to be uh, roughly here. Be careful though that it will actually then um, yeah, go over all these cells as well. I click on OK and it should nicely give me the frequencies for all of them. All right, um, if you like, you can add the bin labels. Um, that simply uh, usually parentheses, the round brackets uh, indicate an to uh, exclude, and a square bracket uh, indicates to include. So, uh, and then simply refer to the lower and the upper bound. Uh, I could then do a frequency check, uh, which is simply uh, add those frequencies in there. What you can also do is uh, use the frequency function, the frequency array function, um, where you use, again, the same bins. Uh, how that works is you first select the area, then you type in the function equals uh, frequency, uh, you select the data, which is all in here, and then the bins array is going to be all of uh, these. Then hit Control, Shift, and Enter. 
and it actually fills it out for you. All right, and that's how you can determine the frequencies and create bins using the data analysis toolkit. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.